Okay, hello. I am really happy to show you something we've been working on, which will definitely make our work as artists inside Blender a lot of easier, especially when we want to do some post-processing and we need render passes. Uh, we created an add-on. You just install it like any add-on you normally do. You go to Edit Preferences, Add-ons, and just hit Install and install the Post Pro add-on. And then you'll need to open that and set up a directory where you want to have your render passes and all the stuff saved. Uh, just click on that button and just choose a location, press accept, and then it's going to be down here. And you can set your default passes. I have the combined, I have mist pass, glossy, direct, indirect, volume, direct, emitter, environment, and AO. Just check the ones you regularly use and you want to have with you like most of the time and just leave the rest unchecked. And we'll take a look at the add-on and you can always just add passes that are not checked here. So make sure you either save your preferences or you have auto save preferences on. And then you can close that. And in the end panel under true VFX, the post pro add-on will appear. And I'm going to use this time for some little advertisement now because this add-on was brought to you by a member of the True VFX team named Amen Deep. And he's also doing uh, lots of other uh, stuff, etc. For example, you take a look at my end panel and it's quite cleaned up. I have some stuff here and that's because I just filtered it. Normally it looks like this. And Amen wrote uh, an add-on that organizes your end panel and I have different stuff here. I have Sims and Rigs, where I have a Chaos Fire, sh sh Fire Shader setup and Orderic Pro and stuff like that. I have a landscape creation where I have True VFX, Forestation and GeoScatter. I love GeoScatter. Um, I normally do my terrains with True VFX use some of their assets and then get the rest done with a geo scatter. They were called only scatter before, but it doesn't matter. And I can just easily swap between my, my add on and my end panel here and just get rid of most of it. And that's just my default setup, true VFX, blender kit. And there are a lot of more functions and I don't even use them. You have quick, uh, panels for the add-ons and stuff i just use it for the organization and it's worth way more money uh, than the i think it was 11 bucks or something and just get some of his stuff take a look uh, he's doing really amazing work and for all of you post pro users he also has a huge sale and it's just for the whole shop so you get everything with 25% off so definitely go and check out his add-ons and all his stuff and especially clean panels has been a real lifesaver for me so thank you Amen, for um, coping with me and always doing all the adjustments and changes I requested for this amazing add-on post pro and let's get back to it so this is how it looks when you have a scene like that and you can just check all the passes you like and these are the ones that you normally get and if you need any others you can just go to other passes and see everything nice let's switch back to default and first you have to save and create an output output directory and if your file's not saved just enter a name this is post Pro add-on showcase for me and press OK and the add-on will set up a render pass path where it will save all of these and it will put it in a directory with the name of the file and you can also save the file there and 
uh, if you do it that way, save and create, it already also gets saved inside this folder. Then you have a subfolder called render passes and all your render passes are gonna be there. And yes, that's it. If I now set up the render passes, it will do some magic in the compositing tab and we'll set up all these render passes and stuff. You don't have to do that. You don't have to change anything here. You just work from this add-on panel and whatever you change here, just hit set up render passes and all of these are going to be saved. And of course, because we don't want to go up here and change to mist parse or something or fiddle inside here to change this, uh, this stuff, we just made it easy for you. You can view your mist pass or any other pass from here. You can change all these settings from in here. That seems to be a huge part. Maybe just, uh, yeah, doesn't matter. You get the idea. You can just preview all your passes in here Can switch back to combined. And if I now were to just hit render, this image gets rendered and all my passes will be at set folder. So here they are. Alpha is not good. Ambient occlusion, nice. We don't have any emitting surfaces. We don't have any environment. Some glossy. The image itself. The mist pass. And we are back to our alpha channel because we checked off all the others. Really nice. And one of my favorite, favorite functions is the create clown pass stuff because it's always so laggy if you just go in there and stuff no you just hit create clown pass and it's done isn't that awesome and because sometimes you need a couple of clown passes etc you want to just turn off some stuff in your scene and just do another clown pass and that's why we made it that the clown passes do not get overwritten. Why this is such this theme. And let's turn off the cup. Why isn't that turning? Ah, of course, if I only turn it off in the render, this is good. Okay. If I now hit create clown pass again and take a look, it made me another clown pass. So you see, I'm all hyped for that add on. I can't thank you enough, Amen. And this is just a huge lifesaver. And from now on, you can just easily save all your stuff. You don't have to set up render um, passes. You don't have to set up the path, uh, the paths. And of course, this is fully compatible with you doing your own compositing up here. And of course, you can also just use this with animations and everything just gets saved uh, inside these. So let's just turn on all of that again and just do an animation. And here we are. And now we just have all of our ambient occlusion just named and voila and for the moment there isn't really an option to just render out clown passes for an animation but as this only has really really limited use uh, we might include that in a future update but um, for the moment it's just not useful if many people would like to have clown passes for animations we might implement that but i don't see any use cases because you ain't going to do selections like that 
uh, for animations if you were to do that you would just use view layers and render different uh, objects by itself and then composite them in with alpha layers okay so that's our post pro add-on and with this update you will also get one follow along thing from the winter blenderland challenge and yeah have fun with that it's kind of a long one and i hope to do way more in the future but we'll see about that.